Managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get to my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stops. You just pace yourself. But I know, I know. I just lost track of time, plus the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Property just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. Honey, kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. I want to give them just a bit of normalcy, okay? Gross! Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this, I'm afraid. Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Vincent has denounced the violence, stating that... Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Spectacular dive, honey. Thanks. Such an athlete. <laughs> You're taking moon bear snorkeling? <laughs> yes. Can I pull something? Claire, can you look after her? There's still a lot of debris floating around. I know, you? Dad. Don't worry. Come on. Wait, darling. You're not taking moon bear into... Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad catches you. Come on. Kathy, what did I say? But Moon Bear wants to go snorkeling too. Bring me the bear that you little troublemaker. <laughs> no. I swear, you get this cheekiness from your mother, not from me. Come on, Kathy, jump in. I'm going to get you out of there now, okay? Come on. Dad? It's all right, I'm here. Ayla. Ayla? Ayla! AC unit 7633-R. Ownership transfer authorization 170544. Isaac Johansson. Kathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ada close to you at all times. Never let her at your sight, all right? I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Listen, Moonbear, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Just listen to me. We have to go. We have to go. How are your legs? Can you walk? Where's Moonbear? 
Well, we don't have time for that now, darling. I won't mean that. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. Great. Now, now, come to me. I need your help, Umber. There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Okay. Now, Umber. That's it! Okay, it's time to go. Stay low, darling. Don't let them see you. Listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose's Ace? Yes. We need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quiet. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AZ in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace! Ace! It's me! Hi! Follow me. Number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad, Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. We've got to hurry. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Going to Outward Moon there. Together.
What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? Yeah, me neither. Are you done yet? I feel like you should have been done ages ago. If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Huh? No, I'm good. Besides, that wouldn't be much help anyway. You're right. You wouldn't. That's an MPD system, so for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPD dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway. I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. People cope before stream tech. Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. Good times. Okay, I just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to.
This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller Cascade antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. <sighs> Hop on! Still doing drinks after this. Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving me beer. Bless. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's a yes on the drinks. Hello. Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, then it must be really serious. Can I tag along? Huh? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. Fine. I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then I'll just, you know... I really have to go. Perhaps you can find Ryan right about it. I'll just hear about it later. It's fine. Your head down. It's been restless again lately. Really? What happened to that diplomatic golden tongue of yours? It doesn't seem to work anymore. This is your stop. Is it? It is. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay. That was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. All right. Let's go find another way into Maria's office. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. <laughs> the museum. Yeah, we can cut through here to Maria's. Might be fun to have a look around too. Not been here in ages. Looks like no one has. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Try. Oh, hi, Mark.
Looking good, sis. <laughs> they really need to change these. I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you never have to Come on, Alex. Try. Are you headed to Maria's office? No, uh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way, so. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean... <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it ACE, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> right. Yours is named Alex, right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? You want the years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting, Kat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but... What your dad and the Lunar Council did, they... they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No? No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me... No. Maria's gonna be on video, you No! Know. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. Why not work? I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks.
we need time to start on that conversation later. Absolutely certain. So it must be them. Since we pulled Sarah and Kath from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan, should we discover Outland's location. During mission Vestia, we found indications that the three Ark vessels Albert used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three Ark actually form a tribe, a completely self-reliant settlement. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a stress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean, the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. We're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors are involved. You doing hey, hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? 
Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what, three other trained astronauts to choose from? So. I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though look, Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now... Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. You all snug in there, Ayla? You need anything? Cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. You look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. But seeing you, you're... proud. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. GC, we're heading to the rocket now. Copy that. Transport is ready for you. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. go. No turning back. Nope. Hey, you know what I still think about? 
Aqua. How can we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Wow, they really don't seem to want us to go. No, but considering the amount of time... Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Oh, they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but we're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the Arcs. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this view. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that were flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before we're taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Sequence initiated. Opera team, this is ground control. Proceed with final checks. Copy GC. Opera team, comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Oxygen is go. Flight. Flight is go. Navigation? Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer? Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel? Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen? Liquid oxygen is go. Power? Power is go. Launch sequence functions? 
Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Good to go. Brian, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power unit. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gaseous oxygen vent arm. Cap retracted. Opera team, visors down. Go. 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 Cat, to transfer from ground to internal power. Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pad down suppression system. Suppression system online. Activating solid fuel thrusters, hydrogen burn off system. Burn-off systems are a go. Cat, initiate solid fuel thrusters start. Solid fuel thrusters are a go. Copy. Thrusters up. We are going for launch. Here we go.
go. Copy. Initiate second stage ignition. Go. The second stage throttles up. Go. And it's away. Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Meet me at these skateboards. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kath? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there.
Nej. You heard that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the first to get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. I've double checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. <sighs> All right. Take rest out of the airlock. <laughs> Pearson Space Station. From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission. Uh-huh. Huh. Um... I'm kind of honoured. What a weird thing to feel honoured about. <laughs> right, first things first. What can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Power? 
It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch. Just press it, and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it... Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Hey, remember that sunken space station in the bay behind the farms? Yes. Why? I was just thinking about it earlier. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well... Never mind. So, anybody you... fancy back home? Wait, what? <laughs> Maybe even on the ship. What? Ryan? Or, or Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. Least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings for someone despite the circumstances. I don't know, with everything that's going on with the world, we never really talk about this kind of stuff. Do you ever think about something like love? Do you? Good point. I'll be shutting up now. I love you. Does that count? No. <laughs> Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cat. Head back inside. Head carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs> I can't 
くて。No. What was that? Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster could send us completely off course. I'll suit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Copy. I don't think we can salvage this thruster. It's taking severe damage. Diagnostics say the same. You'll have to cut it away. Are you sure? In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Copy. Turn the power off before you do. <laughs> Clara can't turn the power off from here. Okay. You need to cut the power cable connected to the thruster. You can't miss it. I'm through. Power is off. Right, now the tricky part. You need to cut the thruster from the ship, slow and steady. Copy.
forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago at least. <sighs> That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. And it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. You're okay. I just I haven't been here in a while, that's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to spend some time together before you have to leave. Girls, we're almost there. Let's keep walking. finish the story right yeah um where was i ah right okay so 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 mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night what's a frat party uh well it, it's like a birthday party but instead of presents people just um drink a lot that sounds stupid it was i never liked going to those either uh, but i'm glad i did go to this one your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and, well, um, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flailing about like a lunatic, then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg, then there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. Oh, jeez. Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea, darling. Whoa. Cool, right? Who made this? Dad. Now, this is all still here. Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why didn't I get to go? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. Okay, Moonbear, come and get your gear. Uh, oh, yeah. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> oh, uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things at left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah? Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. Just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that, on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing, we needed to climb our way up, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? Hmm. They're completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right, so, final tally. Go or no go? Go. Just slam in each pickaxe as hard as you can, one after the other. That's it, Moonbear. You're doing it. I made it. Amazing, Moonbear. We're going to the moon. Excited? Yay! <laughs> okay. 
Carefully climb down now, okay, remember? People, you should know exactly how well how well built Fine. they are. I will rephrase. How do you justify the risks of taking Kathy to live on the moon versus her just staying here on Earth? You know what is happening to our planet. Have you forgotten? You read the same WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You you know what happened. With us. Don't, don't you? Come on, Claire. I hate you for what you're doing. I hate you. Come on. Let's put the gear away. Yep. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? She does. <laughs> Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Let's get you home. You need a big rest before your exam tomorrow. Watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, Seth. <laughs> I just, I just brought that for comfort. I, what do you expect to find on Mars, Cat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe Isaac always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's but... all that matters, right? He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. Cat, I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far, I'm doing just that. Right? Hey. 
I close the shutters for dramatic effect, because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. Okay. You just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Labos. Would you look at that? Have any of you ever seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start the pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. All right, Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint zero to two are calculated and defined. Waypoint two assigned to auto lock abort function. Final go, no go pilot at waypoint two. All right, Kathy. Take us in. Waypoint one reached. Commence maneuver to waypoint two. Roger that. Reaching final waypoint. Starting final soft capture procedure. Final pole. Hard capture now also complete. Docking confirmed. Looks like a smooth dock. Great job, Kathy. Thanks. Ryan, Sarah, you have permission to enter the ship. Permission was assumed. We're already crossing as we speak. Copy. I'll reprimand you later for insubordination. I shall accept my sentence with dignity. Sis, I can join them to investigate. We only need one person. That's not necessary. It's not necessary for me to stay here either. Kathy. Please respect my command. Oh, my sister. I am your commander. Claire, I think we could use another set of eyes over here. The interior is huge and built like a maze. We could be here a while. Copy, Sarah. Kathy's heading over now. Copy that. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Is it this quiet everywhere inside the ship? Whoa. 
Hey, are you seeing this? I've never seen so many cryopods in one place before. A hologram? Here? How are you even finding this data? Are you keeping secrets from me, Ayla? Well, let's take a look. people to help me. I'm not that old. Wait, Rosa? You can let go of me. I'm not going to do anything. Sorry, Miss Laverde, but Director MacArthur was clear. Our warriors, welcome to a new dawn. We stand on the edge of greatness. We are the culmination of thousands of years of technological progress. Earth is a lost cause. There's no coming back from the damage we inflicted upon her. But now, we have a chance to correct humanity's course. A future without conflict, without division, uncorrupted by weakness or doubt. We have the tools, the minds, and the bodies to create a sustainable utopia. A place for you, your future children and grandchildren. With my five-year plan, we will build a solid foundation for our good, together. What about Arc Vita? Don't we need all three arcs for this to work? The loss of Arc Vita is one we can overcome if we remain strong and work hard to compensate. But for this to succeed, we must be unified. If we do not work together, we will fail. If we challenge and fight one another, we will fail. In this monumental endeavor, we are only as strong as our weakest link. So, people of Outwood, we stand on the precipice. Join me, and together we will build something better. Gather your belongings, and prepare to transfer to Ark Habitas for our descent to Mars. We leave in two hours. Was that stunt truly necessary? What were you hoping to achieve by diverting the ship? Rosa, I don't want to force you to cooperate, but... Tell that to the fine men you got escorting me. I'm... sorry it came to this. But we need you. Outward needs you. Your medical expertise is crucial to the colony. Everyone's lives depend on it. I will do my best. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you, William. Rosa and the others. Ayla, if they made it to the surface, they could be with Dad right now. Ayla, I'll log these to my Astro tool myself. So go ahead and strike them from your backups, okay? We'll let the others know later. After we find Dad. Hmm. Guys, I've been 
found the Arch Solar Energy Transformer. These panels will achieve my personal efficiency. What? The best solar panels we've produced in the past 20 years can't even reach 40. So why isn't it functional? The door to the bridge is locked, but I think I can open it with a stream point. Copy that. Keep us posted. Through. Great job, Kathy. Yes, now press onto the bridge. Claire, I'm in the bridge, and the entire room is filled with pieces of debris. You sound almost happy. Well, to be honest, the chaos looks very... pretty. Easy there, Edgeworld. Can you determine what caused it? I'll look around. The emergency security doors have been activated here. Whatever happened behind those closed doors is the answer. An answer we can't get to. No, afraid not. What's the status of the bridge's main terminal?
Looks like I need to fix the MPT converters before I can turn the arc's power back on. Output metrics show the same. The MPT dish isn't receiving any of the energy from the batteries. This ship's operating system is really locked tight, but I think this should open up a door behind you, right? Finding a way to restore the arc's power is top priority. I'm on it. Breach really did a number on this place, too.
。对。Thanks. That did it. Copy. Diagnostic? All of the safety margins over here. Looks good over here, too. Great job, Kathy. Thanks, Sarah. All right. Captain, head over to the bridge and access the terminal. Opera team, Arc Labos is fully functional. Congratulations, team. One arc down, two to go. Let's check the MPT, Ola. Claire, the MPT is fully operational again. I'm going to re-establish the connection to the surf. No! What? No, Kathy! We don't know what we'll find down there. You start the MPT connection, you'll be broadcasting our presence to anyone on the surface. Bit before you act. Roger that. Right. Opera team, head back to the Phase 3. We'll head planet side and find the other arc. Entry guidance design has been re-optimized. Preparing for EDL. T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 I'm sorry for being so protective. I know I'm not mum. What, what I mean is... I see how much you've grown. I know I can trust you. Thanks, Commander. Moment of truth, Opera Team. If the orbit burn doesn't function, we all know what to do. Starting burn. We are losing three axis stabilization. Nominal velocity changes, propulsive efficiency completely tanked. Unable to correct. What about tertiary thrusters? Gone. 
Momentum desaturation has failed. Mass expulsion won't help. We are in loss of control. Understood. Opera team, abandon ship. Brian, Sarah, to cargo in the pods. Kathy and I will try one last maneuver. Kat, do you copy? Kat, copy. You can do this.
meters to surface. Pod exceeding optimum velocity. <laughs> Sarah? Ryan? Are you receiving this? Did you make it? Sarah? Ryan? Can you hear me?
Sarah, Ryan, please come in if you... Oxygen either. The station replenished my oxygen. What? How is there still oxygen here? Cranes. This looks like a quarry. It's completely deserted and heavily beaten by dust storms for some time already. We need to make it to the other side to get to the Ark. Yeah, all right. It's better if we find some transportation. down there so we can take that elevator.
Operational. There must be a way to power it. supposed to be looking at Ayla. Let me go, please. I, I made a mistake. Please, Mr. Johansson, please calm down. I don't need to go back to work. Come, come, coming here was a mistake. Please, please, I, I just want to... Isaac, you're confused from the cryo. Try to calm down. I don't need to calm down. I need to go back for my daughter. I know you're smarter than this. I know that deep down you understand that what you are saying is foolish. Please, William. Please, let me go back to Earth. How do you imagine that would go, Isaac? How do you think you would be welcomed? With fanfare or police escort? Going back won't bring you any closer to ever seeing your daughter again. I know you know this. You and I... If we ever return to Earth, we'll be tried like war criminals. They will treat us like traitors to the human race, not as its saviors. The only way you'd get to see Kathy is from behind bars. Quarry has been producing at a velocity of around 20 million metric tons in the last three years. We built this, Isaac, thanks to your designs, your estimates, your insight. And now, you're here, with Arc Vita, no less. Just imagine how much artwork will grow. It will become everything we dreamed of. I'm sorry for making that very cruel decision back then. And if we can ever bring a select few from Earth, we will make sure your daughter is part of that group. But before that, we need to focus on the here and now. We need you here, Isaac. Can I count on you, old friend? Rest first. We'll get your quarters and habitats cleared out so you can clear your head, okay?
stream tower. <clears throat> so Outward has an emergency network at its facilities. We'll need to hook that up to power the elevator. I still can't believe it, Isaac. In my wildest dreams, I didn't dare to see numbers like this. You keep living up to your name with every project you get your hands on. Our dream is coming to life, my friend. There you are. Rosa, join us. We're just celebrating. Isaac's ore crusher is performing well above expectations. Admissions are up again, William. 62% this last month. We need to expand the medical wing, and we need more staff to take care of them. We talked about this. It's only a temporary increase. I don't think it is. People are being worked too hard and burning out too fast. More and more are showing symptoms of anxiety and PTSD. And with our outlook for the future milestones, those numbers are only going to go up. Isaac's housing development has just started. We can't spare anyone else. Let me rehabilitate them, William. Give me more space and more staff. So I can We can't afford to take people off the ground crews to rest and even more to support them. That will only prolong our struggles. These are your people, William. They follow you. Look up to you. The answer is no. I'll see both of you at the weekly debrief tonight. Rosa, meet me in the medical wing. I might be able to help you out.
That's the RP for the stream tower, right, Ayla? Okay, let's power it up. MPT power reduction field. Power input reduced on contact. Supports multiple beams. A resistor. Did Dad make these? That is good. This should power the elevator. Let's go down then.
And it is the river work. Okay, good. Waiting out the storm to head to the ark. I hope to see you there. Ayla, are you okay out there? Look, I found some great pictures to support my answer. Wait, I remember this. This is when I asked her. Earth is obviously the best planet. Just look. See? All these beautiful plants and animals. Nothing like this. No other planet has any of this. Even Moonbear only exists on Earth. He just visits the moon. She really cared about this planet. So what's your favorite thing? And I said... Mars! Mars has nothing but rocks and dust, Kathy. No, it doesn't. It also has what? aliens. What? Oh, Kathy, we're gonna be here a while. Take a seat and let me talk to you about aliens. Kathy, you have to see the sunset. Isn't it beautiful? It is. If there was ever a moment to pause in time, Totally. Kathy? Honey, are you okay? No. How come? Because I miss... So strong. But every time Dad left, it broke our heart. I'm sorry, but everything is right in place. I have to be. It has to be right. I know. I'm so proud of you. Is Dad leaving again? Yes. For a while this time. 
some new important project, like the MPT dish. Oh. Hey, he'll be back. He always comes back. Don't worry. Snorkeling. I don't want to go snorkeling, Claire. I want. Come on! It's Loco! Jump in! Wait! Don't. Keep leaving. Let's get notarized. Let's give it to the judge and you'll be all set. Fine. It's only temporary guardianship. Sure. I'll be back. I don't want to go away. Then don't! But I have to. The project is almost finished, right? And then, then after that, we'll, we'll never be a past again, I promise. I really am trying to do what's best for both of you. Way all the time by leaving us on our own. You're not a child anymore. You're not a dad anymore. Somehow I've forgotten your mum. Temporarily. I have to. I'll be back for both of you. You just have to. You have to trust me. It's for your future. You have to make your flight if you want to get sent off on time. I'll see you soon in bed. You know it?
thank God. I can hear you. Cat, I can hear your voice again. Kathy, Claire. She didn't. Please, let's not, let's, I, I don't, um, let's just get to those arcs and continue the mission, please. We just made it to the big monolith. Where are you? I managed to salvage her over. I'm heading to the arc now. Good. See you soon. And Kat, if you need to talk, I'm here. No, I, I'll see you soon. The facility I passed through also still had oxygen. How is that possible? No idea. Where's Sarah? She's, uh, resting. A bit further down. There's a door that you need to hook up to a stream point to go further. I know you might not want to hear it now, but... Claire was one of the greatest people I've ever met. I know how much she went to Sarah, and I can't even... That's just going. Hey. We need to get this door. Oh! You're okay. We had a really rough landing. Flared up a road injury. I'm fine. You're not. I said I'm fine. Uh, uh, we need to find some meds. Can you get the RP hooked up? On it. I can split one MPT into two and reduce the power output with this. Should come in handy.
seen anything like this. I can't say that I have. It's incredible. It is. What? What is that? Well, whatever it is, it's important enough that they simply refer to it as the engine. Well, it's like situated in the middle of the bridge, too. It looks active. You think there's people up there? Only one way to find out. Hmm. Elevators out. Ryan, are there any stream points on that map we can use to hook it up to the emergency power? Uh, yes. That's good news. Well, I've got some bad news, too. The only point seems to be on the top floor. There's a staircase going all the way over there. But Sarah, are you able to... I guess that's a yes. set this medical wing on the way up. We're gonna find you some painkillers, and then we're gonna get that elevator back up and running. All right? Cat, how's this floor looking? Abandoned. I don't think we should separate. That's not a good idea. We don't have a choice. All right. I'll be back as fast as I can. Okay, Mzadi? Okay. That's not a reassuring sign. No. You okay with splitting up? Might be quicker that way. Hopefully. Yeah, sure. So, we're looking for pregabalin, gabapentin, or amitriptyline. Or anything with the words anti-convulsant or narcotic analgesic on You're gonna have to just repeat that list if I find something. I know Sarah was quiet about what happened, but Claire was one of her closest friends. I want you to know that. It's fine, Ryan. She always kept me at arm's length. Why did she come on this mission? She could have just stayed back on Earth, right? Sarah cares. A lot. Too much, even. Stopping that woman from doing her duty to save this world is nearly impossible. Right.
You'll all be escorted back to your chambers. Report to your superiors for the graveyard shift. I'd heard you got an Isaac to help you out on this little project. A project I made very clear wasn't going to happen. People need help, William. People need to work. If they spend nights here and off the work rosters, it only halts the progress even more. Besides, we need to keep this wing open for pregnancies. Ah yes, all the pregnant women in the colony. Best leave some beds open to them, rather than real people who need real rehabilitation. But I didn't walk in on rehabilitation, did I? What did I walk in on, Rosa? Opposition? This place is collapsing, William. The dust storms are wearing down our walls and roofs. The mutations in Odom speak for themselves. We are cooped up inside on a planet we shouldn't be on. There is no way this will work. We have to return to Earth. These hardships are the cost of evolution and progress. We will push through. After everything that's happened over the past few years, do you seriously think that we're better off here than we were on Earth? The security will be down to put everything back the way it should be in an hour. Thanks for the backup. I'm sorry. I don't understand you, Isaac. You hear the same voices in the hallways. We've put years into this place and it's not working. Not enough space, not enough food, not enough progress. Why are you staying quiet? It's just not that simple. People left their families to come here. You left your family to come here. Isn't it time you saw them again? <sighs> Isaac, wait. I'm sorry, that... Write this down for later. Gotta make a note of this. Ryan, I found an entire section MacArthur transformed into a makeshift prison. Jesus. Violence, destruction, stealing. They're all here together. Why would they do this to each other? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe some people don't feel that way anymore. Maybe. pharmacy here. Great. I'll circle around and try to find it. Door's locked. But I can hook it up to the stream point to get us in. Great. Do it. What's up? A vent. Maybe you can fit through that.
That's no ordinary air sea button, is it, Ayla? Hmm. How are we supposed to... That's pretty handy, Ayla. Got any other tricks up your... sleeve? I, uh, I think I see some medication here. Maybe it has some of that Praga Benton stuff? Huh. Good job. Perfect. This will work. Huh. And these are antidepressants. And a lot of them. Strange. Wasn't living on Mars the dream for these folks? I think that might be everything we can find here. I'm gonna bring these up to Sarah, and then we can figure out a way up. I might have an idea. You wanna climb that? Well, it might be the only way if everything else is blocked. You can't go up alone. It's fine, I've climbed worse. Look, I'm the only one that can work the stream point, and you need to go and help Sarah. It's too dangerous. I'll be fine. Just be careful. I will. Maybe I can use the splitter that got me in here.
There you are. I mean, about three others have been looking for you. Aren't you a bit too big for that chair? <laughs> these chairs have gone unused for all these years, Isaac. Why is that? A lot of people are fearful of what might happen if they conceive here. Yeah. We still don't know what complications could arise. Humanity evolves because we adapt, not because we stay inert in the face of adversity. If we never try, we'll never know. That's the price we pay. Do you have a family? On Earth? Yes. What do you need, Isaac? <laughs> the, the, the dust storm hit Herschel hard. Uh, until the damage is repaired, we won't have any alloys to continue the housing project. What about Odom? Uh, we're drafting up a ration plan to see us through the next few months, but uh, it leaked and people are refusing to work. I'll talk to Rosa. This homeward nonsense has gone on long enough. Well, well, why didn't you let her have the psychiatric ward? She could help people. She didn't try to help people. She tried to find weaknesses in the fence. But I'll handle Rosa.
I'm gonna get some water. You're right. The same type of cryo beds that I was in on the moon. Oh. I really tried to fix the MPT with the last bit of helium three there was left. Same bit of helium three that your dad needed to jumpstart the Ark and bring you here. caused a five-year blackout. One man. One choice. It affected everyone. You never intended to cause a blackout. Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. Plenty of well-intentioned people have single-handedly caused so much destruction. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Claire always knew. Just hope you do too. this place could really do with? More barricades. This almost feels... Alien? It looks like one hell of a science fiction machine, all right. I think we can safely assume who created this. Let's split up. I'll see if I can crack the main terminal. Ryan, check if we can use that elevator to get off the stairway. Got it. What do you want me to do? Maybe you can figure out what this thing actually does? Sure as hell is it meant for flight. Ayla? You got a readout on the irradiance from these mirrors. If this is what I think it is. 600 watts from a setting sun. That's impressive. Does anyone know why this water looks so... Pretty? If I recall from my days of college, I think that's plankton. Plankton? Yeah, we used to have beaches that would light up the same way at night. Sure. No, really. We saw her on one of our first trips together. Didn't we, honey? Hmm? She was a bit more enthusiastic about it back then. Sarah, can we talk about what you said downstairs? I think that... Now's not a good time. I need to focus. Okay. There's no way this elevator works. And what makes you so confident? Really? With our track record? We'll see about that. The stream receiver is destroyed. Huh. Till we reconnect Arc Labos. It's not going anywhere. Then I'm afraid the Panopticon will have to wait. Panopticon. Hey, honey? Panopticon. Isn't that a, a term for something like a, a central overlook tower? Hmm? <sighs> Never mind. Sarah, I think this is the MPT alignment unit for the Ark. We can use it to reconnect with Ark Lagos when we're ready for it. Good. 
This looks like a water pump system. Yeah, you might be right. Is that what's pumping through that big globe in the middle? Just regular old water? It's a closed pipeline that keeps recycling over and over. I'm in. Come check it out. If I understand their OS, I should get some analytical data if I press... this. Are you guys reading what I'm reading? This machine completely converts atmospheric input into the chemical compound of Earth. Conversion efficiency is close to lossless. <sighs> this might be our mother load. I mean, this technology could restore Earth's atmosphere. We could heal our planet. Well, Earth could definitely use a couple of these oversized bad boys. <sighs> Increased oxygen signature. Could that mean? People. Well, then we should go and check it out right away. We need to finish our assessment because. But we're losing precious time. For what? To find out what happened. Shouldn't one of us scout ahead? If there are colonists still alive, we have no idea how they'll react to our presence. We need to be prepared. Agreed. Things haven't exactly looked peachy so far. If I could just take the rover, get to the facility, we can use that Kathy. information. We're going over there tomorrow as a team, prepared. It's an order. Sarah's right, Cat. We need to get some rest after. after everything. There's a room in the medical wing with some beds. I'll take first watch, you two get some sleep. To me. I'm not sure I want to. We had to have some sort of strategy. Oh, well, it would be nice to know in advance that this was going to be it. Okay, only me and Maria knew. We didn't want to alarm anyone. Oh, so when, when would I find out? As soon as you want me to shoot someone's face off? No. No, I was going to tell you. I just... I had to make sure that Kathy wouldn't find out. Sorry, please. No, 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 no. This is not an anxiety moment. What do you think is gonna happen if we find any of the Lunar Council alive? You think they're just gonna come along peacefully? But that's why Maria wanted Kathy here to begin with, isn't it? To at least get Isaac to come peacefully. Yeah. Plan A. This is Plan B. I know it's a drastic Plan B, and I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. Please, please don't tell Kathy. You should get some rest. Oh no, she's coming out. We have to head back here though. Quick. Hey, look, quick, they're coming.
sorry, Sarah, but you're hurt and Ryan's the only one that can help. I just thought it best you to... You disobeyed my orders. We're on a mission. Kathy, that, that's not how this works. You're putting yourself and the mission at risk. I'm your commander now. Do, do you understand? Do you understand, Kathy? Yes, I copy. Going out on your own is completely right. You've taken the only functional rover, so if anything happens, you'll be on your own. I just arrived. What do you see? I don't really see any signs of life from here. The facility seems abandoned and pretty beaten up, like the quarry I told you about. I'm gonna go take a closer look. If you find anyone, you don't engage them on your own. Come straight back, understood? I will. There's gotta be something here. Hi, Ula. Let's find a way down. That does not look trustworthy. I better find a way down to make it across the ice. Sailor.
facility is surrounded by ice. Making my way across it now. Could be their water processing facility. Maybe. How's it going over there? We found something incredible. The missing Ark. It's called Ark Vita. Vita? That sounds familiar. That's not even the incredible bit. Apparently, Vita has a data bank of millions of Earth's flora and fauna species. Many of them extinct. And it can recreate them. It's a bioprinter. A bioprinter? It has all the ingredients to create life. Wow. All those animals we've lost, vegetation we haven't seen for decades, <laughs> bring it all back. But we can't find it. Its location isn't on any records. It, it just vanished. So if you find any information on its whereabouts, let us know. Copy that. Whatever Odom's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure, I think that's where we're headed. This looks... eerie. Are those markings of electrical damage on the locker? I don't like the looks of this. I think this is hydroponic farming gear. So this is where they manufactured the antidepressants themselves. Mass distributed, right along with the food. So this is what they were growing here. This entire crate was meant to serve 50 people for an entire week. That's way too little. I get why people hoarded the stuff to barter with. So I think this facility was their one-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. Most signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time over the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. Will do. I'll keep sending sit reps.
It's like it was like just falling apart in my heart. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Really? <laughs> this convention in Amsterdam, you know, before the whole thing. And um what was it called? Oh yeah, it was, it was a Beat and Bows or something like that. Oh, such a silly name, so tasty. I bet. <laughs> you know it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's... Um... Science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us. All the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for home. You should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? It's just, it's just no I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth. You Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. You think, um... Think Kathy's okay? What? Uh, of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um, I don't even know what she looks like. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what she's, what she's into. She was so, she was so young hey, when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably... I really wanted her to be on that way. I really did. I just, she couldn't, and then I left her. You know? I just left her that, and I left her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad. I'm a bad father. You're not. I know. I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left. I left my daughter. I left my daughter. You're not. Why would you do that? It's okay. <laughs> just. <sighs> Who would leave their daughter? Press on and find them. I'm fine, Ayla. Let's go. Down for later. William, you, you, you. 
you. You're hurting me. And you are hurting all of us. We might not recover from this. I thought many things of you, Rosa, but... I did not do this. Whether you planted the bomb is irrelevant. Your words lit the fuse. People will die because of Homeward. Are you serious? People are already dying because of Outward. Do you understand what this attack does to our production pipeline? We'll have to shut down several greenhouses. Food production will drop even more than it already has. I abhor what happened here. It hurts us all. But I don't blame them either. They've screamed and shouted, but you've not listened. I know you control Homewood more than you're willing to admit. Call them off, and we might have a chance to make it out of this as a whole. No. No? You imprisoned us and forced us to leave our families, our homes. If this is what's necessary to shake everyone awake, so be it. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed in medical. Sarah, that Homewood group set off a bomb here. They destroyed the heating coils used to melt the ice. They attacked their own water supply. Rosa's people. I don't think she was involved, but yeah. They used this water to grow food, drink, bathe, everything. Just reckless. People at the end of their rope do desperate things to get what they want. I guess. Kathy, I actually wanted to say something else. I'm sorry. About Claire. Me too. I feel like I'm taking it out on... You needed support. And I've not been there. So, I'm sorry. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. to get that container out of the way. Let's go.
I just spoke to Remco. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before and... I just... Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years. Because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling, intelligent sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are, and always will be, too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere, and we will succeed. Outward was working. Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward, and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends, the... You don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth? Remember when he said that before? Kathy, everything okay? Hey, you okay? You sure? You feel a bit cold? Are you sure you're okay? Do you want a blanket or something? Hey, I'm like, you're okay. Okay, you okay? Sure. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just please tell me what the hell you are thinking. You do not take a child to that sunken death trap in the bay. The WSA can teach her all that trouble. I will just teach them myself. I know I don't trust them. I don't trust you! Because my opinion counts for nothing anymore. I've lost cost of custody, so I've lost the say in the matter. Because you simply appear back on Earth to take her, and that's that. I am her father. Oh, I know. State me damn sure I acknowledge that fact. Even though her father thinks it's perfectly okay for a little girl to go and live on the moon. Can we go back home? Please? Yes. I'm sorry you don't understand, but this is what's going to happen. You are being a selfish 
and terrible father acting out of your own fear and pain. You have no idea what you're talking about. You both know full well you are choosing to be on the moon for some inconceivable reason instead of focusing your talent and effort here on Earth. I don't give a damn about the Earth. All I care about is her. And what about me, Dad? Oh, Claire. Oh, oh, Claire. Oh, I know I love you, Rose. Claire, please. Hey. Signature. Wait, you went in without us? There's no one here. Just overgrown weeds and half-dead plants. So what did we pick up then? We saw oxygen consumption occurring when the sun was setting, right? Vegetation actually uses up oxygen at night instead of producing it, so I guess that's what that was. Damn it. Great. Right. Cat, head back here and we'll figure out.
I've made it back inside. Where do you want me to go? We cleared the blockade with the elevator, so just take that up when you're ready. Copy that. Maybe we arrived too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. Is everything all right, Sarah? I don't know. More bodies. Security drones. I hate these things. You okay? Yeah. It's been years. I'm fine. But we should turn Let's back. It's clearly this. not safe. We need to find out what happened, Imzadi. But we're easy targets now without... Let's look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. Anything you can... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anything useful on there? Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off, and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. Look at this. How were to buy the door, probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So... They were attacking outward instead of homeward. What's Sarah's deal with security ASCs? One attack from the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and... One knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and... You know the rest. Right. You see what some of them are holding, Ayla? These people barricade the entrance. Why would they block their own escape? Unless... they weren't trying to escape. Did that? Door just opened by itself. What was that? I know that sound. It came from over there. Write this down for later. Kill hemorrhages. Cyanosis. They suffocated. Everyone? Yeah. 
both homeward and outward. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah? Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Only a couple. Play it. What? Play it. Delusional if you think Mars will ever be safe for us. You destroyed Odin. It's unsafe here because of you. We need to go home to Earth. We can't stay here. Earth is a lost cause. Why don't you see that? I will not die without seeing my family again. People, people, please. Enough. Enough. Fighting like cornered animals. You're all better than that. Things here haven't been easy, but it's hardship we have to endure to make outward work. It's hardship we had foreseen. Those of you who wish to return with the Arks, what do you think Earth will do with them? Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each and every one of you would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? That don't get control? What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Arks and each other. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. Pushing the frontier of humanity always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we- Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arks. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. How... Rosa, what have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! My god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. The ASCs, the attack on Odom. Rosa is just as culpable. 
don't you think? Rosa? You must be joking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the Indians justify the means. Rosa is just as guilty of this escalating as he is. Without her, none of this would have happened. Using the oppressor's weapons against them is completely justified. Doesn't that make her as much of a dictator as he was? She's imposing her will, just like MacArthur did. We saw the horror. leading us somewhere. Ayla, could it be? Well, then make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. This is just the beginning. Hacking the ASCs, storming medical to release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Arglados, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parlay on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please listen to reason. I'm done listening, and I'm done talking. What about people who support Outward, and want to thrive? The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now! We are leaving today, and we're taking the Arcs with us. If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it. Why? Why are they acting like this? We've been through so much together. How is this happening? I hope they're okay. Ace, wait! How do you get in there? Damn. Let's find a way in.
Isaac, are you in the Panopticon with MacArthur? Isaac, please respond. Isaac, are you still alive? I'm, I'm sorry. It all came to this. Tell MacArthur to turn on Habitus. Isaac. Still with Rose after all these years? Why didn't you tell us where you were going? I... I just saw Ace and went after him. Found another hologram. MacArthur shut down Lavos to stop Rosa and Homewood from activating the launch sequence. Then, I think... He shut off the oxygen from the entire colony. You've seen Isaac in these holograms, haven't you? We're leaving. What? What? We'll restart the MPT connection to Lavos from the bridge. We're gonna prep Habitas for launch and be gone before nightfall. What about Arc Vita? Rosa is dead, Kathy. Everyone is dead, and anyone that's left is probably armed and wouldn't hesitate to kill us. But we haven't completed the mission. We are a man down, and mission critical gear that could have helped us is missing. Arc Vita may be important, but we don't know where it is, and we don't know if it's functional, and I will not risk the success of this mission on finding it. So we are leaving now. That is an order. So, what do we do with this little guy? Ace, turn around. ASC unit 63754-N. Ownership transfer, Lunar Council override. 170544. Isaac Johansson. Say your name. Say my. Ryan Delyanin. This is new. Kathy, align the dish with Arc Lavos.
It's done. Right. Ryan, conduct final checks, and then we're gone. On it. Sarah. What the? what happened. MPTs don't work like that. I could have made it happen even if I wanted to. Not that I wanted to. I yeah, just... I know. Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs a... a second. Or two. Or a few hours. So, what now? How likely is it that the MPT dish can still be hooked up, do you think? Not very likely. So, there's a small chance. Well, we'd have to hope that the dish didn't take the brunt of the impact. And even if it didn't, it'd need to be in line of sight with Habitas, and I'd have to check all the transformers and converters and hope that I, they're I also intact. I think it's the last bit of hope we have. I, um, I can't leave Sarah like this, but I can take your lead on this from here. Okay. Cat? We're counting on you. I see it. Looks like it landed on its side. 
Dish looks in decent shape, but I'll need to get closer to properly inspect it. With any luck, the IAS took most of the hit. Okay. If it doesn't work, I'm crossing all my fingers and toes over here. How's Sarah? Still resting. Let's give her some good news. Okay? Yeah.
Is it still functional? Scan it. God. Let's get it going. Just a shame we won't be able to take it back with us. There's nothing like this on Earth. Good. Time for the next. Ideas, Hela. That's it, Hela. Now we can.
can hook the Ark's MPT up to Habitas. Should be above us. security protocol on the MPT connection right now. I don't understand. Homeward insurgents are trying to commandeer the colony. Turn off Arc Labos completely and add an authorization protocol to the MPT software. Sir? If any attempts to restart the MPT connection to Hobbiters are made without my authorization, set the ship's thrusters to overclock. But they'll burn through. Labos will be adrift. It, it could even cause a chain reaction to the fuselage and destroy the entire vessel. Do it! Set the authorization condition to Argus's decryption clearance only. Understood? Yes, sir. Ryan, I know why the Ark crashed. When the insurgents started in Habitas, MacArthur put a kill switch protocol on the MPT connection. The same MPT connection we started on Labos. Yeah. If anyone restarted the connection without his council code, the thrusters would burn out. That destroyed Labos. I'm gonna go check the dish. Alright. Good luck. Do that again, ever. Thank <laughs> you. 
Axis is misaligned. Hopefully the hydraulics survived the crash. I'll head to the bridge now to check. Fingers crossed. We need to head up to the dish and clear the rubble from the joints manually. Of truth. Time to reconnect the dish, Ayla. If this doesn't work, well, we'll never get into the Panopticon. And we'll go home.
No, no, listen. My car has rigged the thrusters. If you try to restart the MPT, we're either going to be left adrift, or it could blow the whole up. He's the only one who can authorize the reconnection. We're dealing with him as we speak. Move aside. You can't! Arlo, break through the door. Are you crazy? You're going to... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> breach detected. Lockdown imminent. Okay. I have I'm, I'm at the penalty column. Is Lavos alright? Uh, Isaac! I'm with your hole in the ship! We're gonna ah! Dad was at the Panopticon during the riots. I knew it. We have to go there next. Please work. Yes. Okay. Okay, see you soon. But not before I find Dad. Kathy? We're ready to leave. Are you back yet? On my way. Be there soon. I don't think that's... MacArthur. I should write this down for later. Enough is enough. Reconnect Lavos and let's settle this. Me, you, and Rosa. You, you, you're both destroying everything we built here. William. William, are you listening to me? Suit up, Isaac. What are you doing? Just put your suit on. Outward, this is MacArthur. If the mutineers don't stand down immediately, I will shut down Ark Habitat. William, you can't. You'll kill everyone. Not everyone. Switch to your suit's oxygen pack. Th there are people out there who still believe in Elwood. Innocent people. Are you willing to sacrifice them too? Only I have the strength to do what needs to be done. To save this. So, yes, Isaac, I am. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is Lavos all right? Because uh, I got you. I'm a child. I'm a chef. Let's break your ass. Hello. I'm Lavos. Is anyone still on the ship? Come in. Come in. I'm Lavos. This is Isaac Johansson. It's a... Uh... Please meet me at Arkvita. All of us. Get in there, Ayla.
for this work. Please authorize outgoing encrypted radio transmission. Argus, authorize, please. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um. Moonbear. I. can't put into words how much I've missed you. If, if you're hearing this, you know where it's transmitting from. Two years ago, the Outward Colony lost connection to Arc Larvos, our main power source. I'm stationed at Arc Vita. The same ship you saw on the moon when you were little, remember? Encrypted in this radio transmission will be the exact location of Arc Vita. I'll play it now for Ayla to decipher. Just no moon there. I'm still alive. Come for me. Yes. Outgoing transmission failed. Damn it. I told Claire over and over again that you weren't ready for this. That you wouldn't rise to the occasion. But to keep this from us? We're leaving. Now. You want to talk? Excuse me? I know you only brought me here so that I could pull on my dad's heartstrings so he'd come quietly. So you could lock him up forever. Yeah, exactly where he belongs. It was that, or... Or what? Plan B? What did you do with the weapons? I got rid of them. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> you have so much potential to help so many people and you're gonna throw it away for your own Goddamn selfish reasons. Sarah, this isn't the way to do this. Claire would be so disappointed that you turned out exactly like your father. So strong, yet so weak. You're the one that brought guns. What is it? Hmm? Revenge? Your pain brought you here, Sarah, so who's the weak one? You have no idea what I have been through. I am trying to do what's right. I am trying to save everyone. We're leaving without Ark Vita. Doesn't Earth need it? Or are you just too afraid to face my father without a gun in your hand? I'm going to Ark Vita. I'm going to find my father. Not in a million years. Ayla, now. No. Sarah? Jeez. Kathy!
We'll make it through, Ayla. I'm not changing course. Kathy? I know what you want to find, but I don't think it will be what you want it to be. We've seen the pain and destruction. We know what they're capable of. We, we shouldn't. Come to me. I'll find her. Take Kathy to the closet under the stairs. Stay inside the closet no matter what. Mum and I will join you as fast as we can. Liz? Liz! Kathy, come here, quick! Kathy! Kathy! Liz? Isaac? Where are you? At the house! Come back to the house! I can't make up where you are! Follow my voice! Quick! Quick, the storm is getting closer! I can't find you! Liz? Liz? I see the observatory! No, no, no! Don't go in there! It's not safe in the... No! Liz! Come on now, get up. Get up, it's time, it's time to get up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, if we just move. God, if we just move. Come on.
Is Isaac here? Isaac Johansson? So big. You got my message. Yeah. But the only bit that got through was the first word. Moon Moonbeam. I can't believe how much you've grown. I would have given anything to, um... Isaac? Conrad here. Hey, Con. We're still low on carbon. We need about 1,000 cc's from Habitus to finish up Vita's prints, so... Oh, I'm really sorry. Uh, Odum's dropping fast, so Miyoshi's hydrogen request takes priority. But, but I'll, I'll authorize your request immediately so Jill can add it to the next run. Sure thing. Thanks. Authorize the request, Argus. Is that MacArthur's ASE? Yes. I, I took him with me after the. Uh... Well. He's the only people that survived. Yes. I really wish there were more, but it was. It was, it was a dark day. We've been through a lot. The division, the violence. Our energy resources are really limited ever since that day. The only thing that we have in abundance is oxygen coming in from habitats. Besides that, we really have to balance what our resources allow us to sustain, which is, which is difficult. But we made it work. It's so beautiful here. It looks even prettier than Earth. Yeah. The other colonists, they're not really happy to see me, are they? Uh, it, it's not that. Um, I never told them I sent that message. I don't think they ever expected to see anyone else ever again. Oh. There's a something I want to show you. It took a long time and more resources than I care to admit, but uh, I guess I just couldn't let it go. Dad, I, I don't have any words. Go on, have a look around. When you're done looking around, I've, I've got a surprise for you in the kitchen. Wait, this wasn't the surprise. Well, uh, y yes and no. Uh, but now I, I may be hyping up too much. Um, maybe you won't like it, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, just, just enjoy and look around first if you want. 
So, was this something special you promised me? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I think I might have oversold it. Um, here it is. I know you're too old for a toy bear. I made it myself. With wood grown right here. Over there, in fact. I guess I just needed it to remind me of you. It is extremely delicate, so please be careful. Not like the uh, dozens you destroyed before. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you like it? I found all these holograms about what happened here. And... what you did. some kind of monster. I don't. I would understand. I, I think about it every day. I lost hope of ever seeing you again. And I, I, I tried to stay out of it. I've made so many mistakes in my life. But, uh... That day, that... I had to stop them both. Before they destroyed it all. Why didn't you choose for Rosa and Homewood? <laughs> Why didn't you try to come home to us? <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> You're here. Here now. I'm, I, I'm never going to let you out of my sight. I'm going to keep you safe. You are here safe. I promise. <laughs> Dad, I... We came here to save you, right? Save me? To bring you back to Earth. You, you want to... You want to bring me back? But... Th I didn't send the message for you to save me. I sent the message for you to, to be here with me. What... What are you, what are you doing here? You, you want to take me back to... But they'll... What was the plan? What's the plan? I... I don't know. But... But, Dad, we, we need to bring the Ox back home. To save us. The colony is stable. We made it. We made it work for, for all of us. You. <laughs> Please, you, you must listen to me, Mingba. Humanity destroyed the Earth. They'll destroy the Arcs, too. They'll go to the highest bidder or, or the, the strongest nation. They don't... Look at what we've achieved. Moon base. Outward. Was there ever a plan to save Earth?
No time. We need to hide. They're coming back. Where can we go? Quick! We need to be quick. In the closet. Quick. Let me talk to Kathy about this. Kathy? Kevin was certain, Isaac. It's Sarah Baker. She must have taken our rover back over here. Kathy! How did they even get here, Isaac? How did they find us? She's gone! What? Kathy is gone. Where did she go? I don't know, but find her. Please. Now! Unison, my daughter the intruder are missing. Lock off the entrance and check every inch of the dome. Find them. You're okay. I'm fine. Let's go. Sarah, I know what I did. I, I heard it. It's all right. I, I heard everything. I have one too. Remember, we have to get back to Habitat. This place is swarming. With... Guys, I've got a bit of a situation over here. Yeah? Yeah, those colonists really don't like you stealing their rover. They're trying to get in. Okay. I brought the elevator stream boy in and threw up some barricades. Big brain move. Be careful. You need to get back here, or they're going to stop us from leaving altogether. Yep, we need to steal another rover, sneak past a ton of colonists. We need to press on to Arc Vita. Ryan, redirect Habitas' power to Vita and prep for launch. We are gonna head that way right now. We're doing this? Okay, copy that. Heading to the NPT terminal now. Be careful out there. Both of you. I saw a path on the way out. Yeah. You okay? Ha! Ah. Yep. <clears throat> I'll live. Let's go. Follow me. for their unmanned this long. Someone needs to go back to the Ark and we'll have bigger problems if we don't find him. Now let's go. It's 
clear. leads to the Ark? Looks like it, yeah. <sighs> How's our chances of just walking in without any hassle? Not good. I was afraid of that. Maybe there's another way in. There's a maintenance shaft that might get us there with a bit of a detour. I'm not sure I can handle more detours. Maybe I can do something to create a diversion. But how? And where? That's the pump regulator that controls the incoming oxygen from Arc Habitus. You're right. Why? Look. No one is wearing a pressurized suit. If I temporarily turn it off, everyone will be forced to suit up or get to safety. We could use that distraction to get you in there. I can use the maintenance tunnel to get to the facility unnoticed. Kathy, I... I don't know about this. I'll meet you at the entrance. Okay. Good luck. Pompeyla, let's find the terminal and shut it down. Shut it down. It just moved those heat shields. Maybe we need to follow the pipes up here. as fast as we can. No other choice. First thing, I have to clear stuff the facility now. 
I'll meet you inside. Please put on your pressurized suit and get to the nearest safety zone immediately. Atmospheric breach detected. Level 4 rupture. Please put on your pressurized suit and get to the nearest safety zone immediately. Atmospheric breach detected. Level 4 rupture. Please put on your pressurized suit and get to the nearest safety zone immediately. I'm not gonna make it. Sarah, go up now. Go. Kathy, the floor you see. The art can't. Listen to me, you can't do this. Not just to me, but to all these people. I... Don't leave. We have to, Dad. I'm gonna find another way up there now. Wanda, please. What are you doing? Th that vent takes you straight to the Tesla chambers. You're going to get yourself killed! the arc thrusters. Okay, just a quadruple DES symmetric encryption that uses a 64-bit cipher key. You've got this.
I initiated the launch sequence from the control room. Copy. Proceeding with final checks. Initiating airtight seal. Sealed. Checking air composition. Initiating a doctor retract.
Sarah Ventoflines. Go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Retracting orbit. Already retracted. Okay. Starting auxiliary power units. Contracted. Visors check. Go. Go. Transferring ground to internal power. Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, initiate sound suppression. Initiated. Starting helium free thrusters. What happened to the units and colonists? It's all worked out and uh, taken care of. Good. I love you, Emzetti. I love you too. He made it. I'm so sorry, Sarah, for everything. It's all right, Kat. You knew it was right in the end. It's what matters. Why did you come after me? I don't know. If you're looking for Isaac, I granted his request. He's down the corridor. Thanks. Did you tell him about Claire already? No. I'm gonna tell him right now. Good luck. Front row seats to your uncle. It took years for us to find the right biopolymer. Eventually, someone found it. Now we can create nature. We're going to have to print a lot more than this if you want to save the earth. Just remember the day we were born. Probably don't.
didn't know this, but um, I almost lost you and your mother that day. Really? Yeah. When Liz was giving birth, witnessing worst storms we've ever seen. Uh, uh, rolling blackouts were a common occurrence. But this time the flood took out the hospital's generators. It wasn't exactly optimal, to say the least. You were born with an umbilical cord, your umbilical cord wrapped around your neck. And your mum lost consciousness due to shock. I was, just, I was just standing there in the corner, watching the nurses and doctors running around trying to save you both. I felt so useless. So utterly bound. best for humanity's survival. No matter what we do, no matter how hard we try, we, we just can't seem to unite. We fight each other if we have a common enemy or a common goal. We disagree on how to overcome it. We become hateful in our rhetoric and destructive in our actions. We we'll steal another man's bread. If we're hungry, and we'll destroy the home if we want it for ourselves. We keep, keep doing this to each other, to ourselves. As if somehow personal gain always triumphs unity. What are we trying to save if we ourselves just end up destroying it? <laughs> I really believed what I was doing was right. But then, who says you're right? Who gets to decide that? Good to hear your voice. What happened to the Eunice and colonists? I had, uh, it's all worked out and, uh, taken care of. Good. I love you, I'm sorry. I love you too. And even if there is a way of knowing that you're you're fighting for the true greater good, I mean, why do you have to fight for it in the first place? How do, how do, you, how do you stay strong? How do, you how do you stay good? Believe. This is what we should do. I hope you're right.
Mission Control, this is Sarah Baker, commander of Mission Opera. The mission was a success. We're returning to Earth. ETA is six months, 13 days, and four hours. Mission Control, please respond. This is our third attempt to reach you. Are you there? <laughs>